How pirates like Captain Jack Sparrow managed to sail those massive ships and small sailboats across the ocean. Back in the day, it was easy to travel if the wind blew from behind. But what if the wind came from the left or right or even against them? They did not have any motors or engines back then. So how did they still manage to travel? They used signs. The crazy part is that the same signs which help those ships move against the wind is also used in airplanes today to fly in the sky. Okay. Now I'll show you a small experiment using a paper to explain how ancient sailors moved against the direction of the wind. I took a simple piece of paper. When I blow air over it, watch closely. The paper lifts up. Why? Here's a relatable example. Where do we drive faster? On an empty road or in traffic? Of course, we drive faster on an empty road where there are fewer vehicles and drive slower in traffic where there are more vehicles. Air behaves the same way. So when air flows fast above the paper, a low pressure region is formed compared to the high pressure region at the bottom. Just like us, air prefers a less traffic road. So the air molecules move from high pressure region to low pressure region. This pressure difference lifts the paper up. This principle is known as Bernoulli's principle. This is the same principle that helps the airplane wings to generate lift. When you look at an airplane wing from the side, it's designed in a special shape called an airfoil. When air flows over the wing, it moves faster on top, creating lower pressure. Slower underneath, creating higher pressure. The higher pressure below tries to come to the lower pressure region, thereby pushing the wings upward. This is called lift. That's how planes fly. So what does all this have to do with sailboats? Well, a lot actually. If you tilt the wings of an airplane sideways and place it in water, it almost acts like a sail. If you look at a sail from the top view, it is very similar to the structure of an aerofoil. Let us understand this with a simple experiment. Here's a small sailboat. Now when I blow air straight at it, the boat moves in the direction as the air that I blow. But this time, let's think of the sail as the wing of an airplane. Let's place the sail exactly like an airfoil facing sideways. Now when I blow air at it, the boat moves sideways, not forward. Interesting, right? But why? Because just like in the airplane wing, the airflow creates high pressure on one side of the sail and low pressure on the other, causing it to get lifted sideways. But boats are supposed to move forward, not sideways. Pirates can't keep traveling sideways. We are missing something. Oh wait, we have added only one wing and that's the sail part. On an airplane, wings are on both sides. In the sailboat, the second wing is hidden under the water. That part is called keel. Let me attach a keel to the bottom of the boat. And now, when I blow air to it, see, the boat moves stably forward. When the wind pushes the sail in one direction, the water hits the keel and pushes it in another direction. Now imagine two people pulling the boat in those directions. What happens? The boat moves forward in a straight line. That's how the combined force of air and water creates a net forward movement even when the wind isn't directly from behind. So basically, the sail uses the air to move the boat and the keel uses the water to stabilize and steer it. There are many types of keel. Some of the keels are simply flat which resist sideways movement helping keep the boat straight. So now you might think the sailors can move easily in the wind's direction. But in reality, the movement becomes difficult when the wind is too strong. So instead of moving straight, the sailors move in a zigzag path about 40 degrees on either side. This makes them efficiently move even when the wind is against them. This technique is known as stacking. If you find this video informative, do visit our hands-on learning workshops. You'll really love it. For registrations, click the link on the description below. And for much more amazing videos, comment Jack Sparrow. I'll see you in another one. Until then, this is Rakesh signing off.